everybody. It's another beautiful day in Southern Illinois. It's a little chilly outside today, but we've bundled up. We got our hats, we got our coats, we got our masks, and we, oh, I've got our gloves, and we are ready to hike at the Oakland Nature Preserve. Now, something really cool that they have going on at the Oakland Nature Preserve is a story walk. So, not only are we gonna get outside and get some exercise, but we get to read a really fun story along the way. And we've also done this like two or three times. Yeah, this is one of our favorite places to come. So we've been here several times. So, all right, you ready? Yep. Okay, let's go. Okay, so the first portion of our hike is gonna be the Kids Exploration and Education Trail. Let's check it out. All right, what's the first thing we've come across? A teepee. Ooh, cool. Go inside of it? Yeah. Okay, here we have some Possum apartment. This pile of brush, branches, sticks, and leaves provides habitat for wildlife. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so the title of this story is The Little Tree by Lauren Long. Once there was a little tree filled with little leaves who was surrounded by other little trees who had little leaves of their own. In the heat of long summer days, little tree's leaves kept him cool. The squirrels would climb up on his branches to play the morning dove landed in him and sang her fluty song. The little tree was sure to grow up big and strong. Autumn arrived and cool winds filled the air. The wind tickled the little tree as it passed through his branches and ruffled his leaves. The air grew cold and the leaves on all of the trees changed color, becoming yellow, red, and orange. Then one by one, the trees began to drop their leaves, but not little tree, he just hugged his leaves tight. Hello, little tree, said a squirrel. You're supposed to drop your leaves now. But little tree wasn't un was unsure. That, what would he do without his leaves? None of these trees have any leaves. Winter came. What are you doing with leaves still on you? Asked the doe. The little tree just hugged his leaves tight. Springtime arrived and the little forest burst into life again. The other trees grew bright new leaves. The squirrels played in their branches. Little tree could hear the morning dove singing her fluty song. The seasons continued to come and go. Little tree quacked a duckling, your leaves are brown. Are you feeling sick? A fox said, little tree, it's autumn. It's time for you to drop your leaves. You can do it. Ready? One, two. The little tree just hugged his leaves tight. All around the forest grew and grew. One summer, Little Tree could no longer feel the sunlight. The squirrels played high above on the broad, tall trees, and the morning dove sang so far away that he could hardly hear her fluty song. Autumn came again. Leaves began to blanket the ground. Little Tree looked up at the other leaves, at their branches reaching high into the sky. He, he remembered when the trees had all been his size. And then he let go as his last leaf floated to the ground for the first time little tree felt the harsh cold of winter. Time something happened. Once there was a little tree. He, he began to grow as one of the, like the big trees like mm -hmm. as big as then. All right Ivy are you ready to leave? Yes. Okay, thanks for joining us today on our story hike. We hope you guys can get out here and enjoy it too. Remember, get outside. Bye. Bye.